as you watch a butterfly to describe what you're looking at, you can't really put it into words. That's biology, it's also magic. It's impossible to look at a caterpillar turning into a butterfly and not ask how. Their metamorphosis, their life cycle, how did this happen? This astonishing, remarkable transformation. You've got to get rid of or digest the caterpillar tissues. They won't work for the adult. In fact, the cells themselves disappear, but then their components are recycled and are turned into a kind of soup out of which the adult structures will be built. It's like a different organism. Transitions have to take place in the heart. Transitions have to take place in the antennae. You have to recreate adult legs. You have to reformat the gut so that it switches from eating plant material to eating nectar. You begin to see the depths of the problem. So for evolution to have created this sort of pathway gradually, it would take a miracle. When you see certain effects in nature, it's your responsibility as an investigator to find the cause that will explain the effect. If you saw a mechanical device of the sophistication of a butterfly, you would not for a moment hesitate to ascribe that to intelligence because the butterfly is so much more sophisticated, almost beyond our comprehension than anything that we make. When you process all the evidence revealed through metamorphosis, and then you ask yourself, in your own experience, what kind of cause could bring about these results? I think the only reasonable answer is an intelligence that transcends the natural world. <laughs>